Oh my god, guys. Is this heaven? Yes, it is heaven. It is heaven. But not so much in my portfolio. The fucking Bitcoin. You can't count on it. Eh? When you want it to crash, it goes up. And when you want it to go up, it goes down. Um, but um, that's why I always work in layers like I don't I never sell everything although sometimes I do sell everything I sold the uh, NXT fully and uh, and 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 clumps fully uh, and actually it was too big of a step and I paid the price only two weeks later where I could have when it doubled again in just one two weeks I could have sold the remaining part um, and, and and then it would have gotten a much better price um, it makes sense to sell everything, but only when it has become too small of a part in your portfolio to justify holding it. Because of course every position requires maintenance and, and, and when it becomes too small, it's not worth it anymore. You should get rid of it. It's, it's nice to get rid of it fully. But for NXT, for example, I think my exposure was about 10% or so in order to gather my last position. And then I, I decided to fully liquidate that at a certain price. and. Well, you know, it goes times two a week later and well, if I would have sold only half, 5% of my portfolio, I still have five in it, it goes times two, that's again 10% of my portfolio. Well, I can sell again half and, and, and then, then it would have dropped a cut by two again today. So that 5% remaining is only two and a half percent. And then if you see, that, okay, the bear market is likely here, you can fully liquidate it, but you will have made a lot more than fully liquidating a position that is quite big. Um, it's always a dangerous thing and and it's, it's, it's the same when you move in. So, I mean, and it also makes a rational, like, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, something I forgot to tell about the Kelly uh, criterion um, is that why I really like it is, is, that be, is that because if the price goes up of something, the risk reward ratio goes down. And so you're, you want your exposure to be lower. And so that means that let's say uh, Bitcoin is now 2800, it's amazing, it drops 2800, now back at 2800, close to the all time high, unbelievable. Huh? It's, uh, I can't make, uh, I, uh, it's not clear for me, is this a bull, are we still in a bull market? I thought we were in a bear market, but, 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 but so, the higher something goes, um, uh, the lower uh, the risk reward ratio is, and so the lower you want your position to be, and so, as the price goes up, you have to sell. But if the price goes down again, and let's say your sale is not met, well, if the price goes down again, there is no way you have to sell then. Because if you have to sell then, you did something wrong. And so, uh, the moment the price starts to go down, well, the only thing you should do is start buying. And the more it goes down, the more you have to buy. That's if you follow consistently the Kelly criterion is what it will lead to and so you will never make the mistake of selling after it went down or buying after it went up and that's the biggest mistake one can make and that, that, that can really ruin you uh, of course this is a very different investment strategy than what most people follow especially traders who also want to see like um, um, technical patterns being broken and, and, and then, of course, that's a different story and a different way of investing. There you will only invest after something has gone up uh, and you will only sell after something has gone down. But that's not the invest, investment strategy I'm following. But um, I want to say also something else. Um, yeah. Um, 
I was considering uh, actually um, increasing uh, my um, my exposure to uh, Fiat eh? because the last time I rebalanced it was to 66% and 43% uh, remained in uh, crypto. Now crypto has gone up again. Unbelievable! From a market cap of uh, twice, eh? it dropped to 60 billion dollars. Um, and now again it recovered to 90 billion, 95 billion, almost 100 again. Um, and so first it went to 90 billion, the first time it went straight up, 90 billion, it hit that, it went to 60 billion. That was the first serious crash in this bubble, in this bull market. Then from 60 it went to a new all time high of 110, 15 billion. Then it went down slowly to 90 billion and suddenly dropped again to 60 billion. And now it went back up to 95 billion. So it's weird. I, I can't, uh, I can't say this is a bear market yet. Um, and so that's why I was planning on the rebound. Actually, I sold around uh, 90 billion. I decided to go back to uh, 66. I go up from about 53 to 66 percent. But then it started dropping. It was only at 80 billion or so that I was able to do the transaction. Uh, and then it dropped to 60, I'll say, oof! And if this recovers again, I will sell more, I will go to 75% fiat and only 25% crypto. But, of course, I made this other video about um, just historical prices of um, crypto, uh, just the, uh, the crypto market. And, and, and you can see there that the overvaluation of crypto Currencies is not that high compared to its history. It was only at the moment this video was made it's three weeks ago or so. Uh, how much was it? Uh, 70 or 80 percent, but it could go to 200 uh, percent just in one straight line. And over the long term, the next one, two years, it can go to 700 percent overvaluation. And so, roughly estimated, that's a market cap of um, uh, about um, 500, 700 billion uh, US dollars. And, and so, we're only at 100. So I really think there is a high chance for that to happen over the next one to two years. So if I go down to only 25% crypto now, then, um, then if uh, this bear market is not happening and, uh, and it goes again in a bull market, well, it can go straight to five, 700 billion and, uh, and I'm only 25% exposed. And so that would be a big um, loss of opportunity because I, I can't buy back in with the 75% fiat is against my investment strategy. So that's why I have to be careful. I can't go too much into uh, fiat. So that's why I decided to cancel uh, that rebalancing and just stay now. It's like I was 34% is now again 40% crypto. I just keep it as is and um, we'll see how, uh, how the market evolves. Uh, I have decided though to focus uh, like I've sold I've sold down most of my positions, eh? so I have less Zcash today than I used to have, uh, less Byteball than I used to have, less uh, Blue Magic portfolio than I used to have. Um, uh, one position I have built up a little the past uh, few weeks, and that's Monero. But this is only like, yeah, since my total before is 40%, Monero is, Monero is maybe 3% or so. Uh, of my uh, crypto is 40 Monero is maybe three or four, so that's only 10% of my crypto is Monero. Eh? So, a byte ball is about 8% or 10% of my portfolio, and then uh, Zcash is only also about three, four percent, and then my Blue Magic portfolio is about uh, I don't know, seven percent or so or 10%. You no, know, only seven or so, and then also I, d I decide to invest in ICOs. Yes, 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 but. Um, following the icocountdown website.com if you know that uh, he, he does a great job I think in, in selecting ICOs because his website is just a selection of ICOs the ones he uh, Alex uh, the one that runs the website uh, has verified as to be worth taking a bet on so I'm, I'm, I'm digging more into that now uh, but not by with fiat positions no I'm selling some altcoins and I invest that into ICOs. And of course I have a big Bitcoin uh, exposure today. Uh, so basically it's my Bitcoin position and that's around 15% um, 
my portfolio and eh? so of the 40% crypto almost half is Bitcoin now but with those Bitcoins I'm looking into ICOs into opportunities because uh, I do think there is still opportunity there but uh, it's uh, it's of course uh, a difficult market uh, but um, but it's still possible I think much more likely to make profits there great profits uh, than in the existing uh, cryptos that have had already a lot of exposure um, because I, I think actually Bitcoin uh, needs I deserves more respect uh, today uh, it has gone up to about 49 percent uh, market cap now um, but um, I mean it's true that it's very hard to beat the market leader and um, at current valuations compared to the whole crypto market I think it's it's not a bad uh, position to hold um, and um, uh, while looking for opportunities because if, if, if there is indeed a bear market and I do think there is still th those are the highest, highest odds yeah, because we're now one month or almost maybe one month and a half in a basically a sideways movement in 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 a bull market this is very like it has never happened before that then suddenly the, the bull market continues no every time there was a one month sideways movement while well, it ended up being a bear market and it would go down another three four five months eh? so that's the most likely scenario but even if this happens well my exposure is only 40 percent eh? so that's a minority and half of it is in Bitcoin which will drop a lot less probably than most of these other cryptos and I'm busy investing in some ICOs and some of these if you are able to invest in ICOs that don't have a lot of exposure that have a great idea and that are successful in executing later on and don't raise too much money then um, well the, after you invest and it starts trading you, you have a 5x a 10x uh, immediately uh, and, and so you can still make uh, profits there wow. look how beautiful it is here unbelievable eh? for those that wonder where I am I'm in Rodriguez it's uh, Mauritius a small island look at these beautiful birds look 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 and um, and um, Mauritius is uh, is already uh, it's on the right side of Africa, but then Rodriguez is like a one two hour flight from there. Uh, it's uh, it's it's poor here, uh, but a lot of beautiful nature because they don't have industry, so very little pollution and uh, it's very beautiful. Look at this. Wow, do you see the birds? Do you see the birds? <laughs> yeah, something important I forgot to say is that... Um, so, from the now about 60% uh, fiat position I have, I'm planning to invest about 30% 30, 30 or so in precious metals portfolio uh, that I talked about in my previous video. Um, but, um, but about... Uh, yeah, 30%, another 30% of fiat. I just, um, I, I, uh, I prepare to reinvest in the crypto market if the bear market happens. So if we achieve valuations of, um, uh, for Bitcoin, um, below 1,500, 1,400, um, then I will start rebuying Bitcoin. And, if, and for the whole crypto market, if we go below valuations of, um, 30 billion uh, then I will start to buy certain positions positions back in that I still like and that I have been selling like bite ball and that cash and and maybe some more Monero then and and maybe also some more blue magic uh, capital portfolio again and then maybe also some more ICO so 
so I keep about 30% ready to buy back in uh, if a bear market happens but if no bear market happens then I will never use that again to buy back in and I will just invest that in other uh, opportunities um, 